Hello everyone, welcome back to Chart Power, or if this is your first time, thanks for joining in on our small but quickly growing channel. All right, I want to make a quick video for you here as we head into the weekend. I've heard uh, some people concerned about a quick and steep drop in Bitcoin. Um, one of the reasons being that the crypto quant charts are showing that whales are moving a lot of their Bitcoin onto exchanges and that can often correlate to a big sell off. Um, I, I would caution on that data a little bit because um, in other markets I have seen professionals um, do head fakes using that type of uh, data by putting orders in the books to scare out um, the small fish and I don't see any reason why the big players in crypto would not also employ the same tactic. However, it could also, it, it, it goes both ways. It could also be because of a sell-off because we've seen that happen in sell-offs. Um, but I'm going to tell you why I don't see a sell-off happening anytime soon. Now, one of the concerns that I have had as far as a sell-off is that Bitcoin does have a history of getting its price squeezed down into these small areas. And when it does, it breaks through the line that it has been using as support. It, it does this, it has does, done this in several uh, situations, not always, but there, there's a little bit of a history there. And we are sort of dancing on this line right now. Um, and we could see uh, it break through that line, just like in other times. But my point is, I don't see that happening right now, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, this is the Bitcoin chart, and this is a video about Bitcoin, but I'm going to jump over to the total market chart because um, it just demonstrates what I'm talking about much more clearly. It's not as clear in Bitcoin, but let me show you what's happening in the total market chart. So back here, uh, from, if we measure from lows to lows, um, this low to this low is 29 bars. From this low to this low is 30 bars. From here to here is 30 bars exactly again. And from this one to this one is 28 bars. So you can see it generally for some time here since, uh, since March, it has been making its lower low every roughly 30 days. So to me that that means I'm not really expecting if a drop was going to come through this line of support, I'm not expecting it any anytime soon. Not that it can't happen. Okay, I'm not this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. But if we look at the trend that we are in, and of course trends are very powerful in financial markets, the trend is that there it makes a move every 30 days. All right. So even if it was going to drop through, I wouldn't expect it to do that until some point around here. And uh, one more piece of data as far as that goes is just the fact that uh, it didn't reach a lower low on this last move. So we had you know, this line here, which is the best line really that I see. You could try to go by the closes, but uh, in any, any way you draw it, it doesn't look like um, the the market made a lower low here, neither in the total market, which has been weaker than Bitcoin, or let's go back to the Bitcoin chart here. Bitcoin failed to make a lower low. Now, personally, when I'm expecting something to happen in a market and that thing doesn't happen, then I sort of you know have to rearrange my my prediction. I'm always taking in new data. Even if I made a prediction in the past, the, the new data uh, has to inform that. So even though I in the past was kind of predicting that this was possible, that uh, that that break down through the line and it is absolutely still possible. Um, um, just the fact that it's showing this uh, little bit of strength here gives me another idea that maybe just uh, since we had this very slow peak, maybe we're just going to have a very slow turnaround uh, and it 
can go like that, which means that by the time you realize things have turned around and people start getting excited again, you're, you're paying up here. And if you were planning on waiting for the breakdown down here, you're missing all of these orders that you had in. So neither of these scenarios really looks good to me. The fact that we're showing a little bit of strength uh, to me means that if I wanted to put more money in Bitcoin anytime soon, this is really the region that I'd want to be doing it in. Not the top of this, however high this might go, and not, um, not, not try to get uh, orders in down here because it, there's a slightly less probability now that that might happen. If I really wanted to get money in, um, I'd be wanting to do it either, well, we're up here now, so either around here or have some orders in so that when 30 days passes and it comes back down again, might be a very nice area to get some orders executed. Um, and, uh, you know, we see, we see this uh, pattern happening in uh, Ethereum as well. A lot, of the, uh, a lot of the coins have a line that they are bouncing along. So, yes, the question is, is it going to do that or is it going to do... Is the line going to hold and and uh, there's that history with it breaking down? But now just the fact that it has not reached a lower low or even the same line. Let me put a horizontal line in there so it's more clear. Um, why, why didn't Bitcoin get to either of these lines? Uh, showing a good little bit amount of strength there. And that might be part of this long, slow turnaround. Or maybe when it gets down here, this is just a really short-term uh, type of you know wobble. And the next time it does it, and then the next time it goes through. Okay, these are all possible scenarios. But definitely this, what just happened, is really interesting to me. And I'm going to be keeping my eye out for what's going to be happening in the future so this pattern was not as clear in bitcoin i so i showed it to you in the total market chart but i am certainly expecting something like this if the pattern is to continue i'm not worried at least in the short term that the market is going to crash down lower so we'll keep our eye on those things and see what happens if you found this information useful please give me a thumbs up it really helps out the channel and if you want to follow along as i track this information in the future please consider subscribing to this channel thanks for joining me and i'll see you next time Bye bye